Hi, my name's Nick Burnham. I'm down here at Darthaven Marina for Motorboat and Yachting Magazine to show you how to clean a teak deck. And the materials we'll need for this is some boat wash, some teak cleaner and some teak brightener. So as Toby is demonstrating here, the first step is to give the teak a really good clean down and this is to get rid of all the imperfections and basically give us as good a surface as possible to start the treatment. So the next stage is to take the teak cleaner and give the deck a really good scrubbing. The important thing here is to make sure that the deck stays wet. What you don't want is the teak cleaner drying into the teak and therefore the best way to do this is to do it in stages. Scrub the teak cleaner in, then hose it off and then move on to the next stage. One very good tip here is to go across the grain more than you're going with the grain. If you go with the grain what tends to happen is you eventually dig out the grain and dig fairly deep grooves into the boat over a period of time. Each time you hose it off you'll be able to see the areas that you've done and any areas that you've missed. It's also quite important to make sure you wash the teak cleaner off the gel coat. It's not a good idea to leave that on there for any length of time. Once you finish with the cleaner it's important to give the boat a really good wash down afterwards. This is for a couple of reasons. First of all you don't want to mix the cleaner with the brightener that you'll be using next. Second of all the gunk that comes off the deck dries really really hard so you want to make sure you lose all traces of it whilst it's still wet and easy to move and that includes not just the area that you've cleaned but you also need to check around for example the transom to make sure there's no splashes of it up there and maybe even check the boats next door because they won't thank you if you've managed to get a bit of overspray on their boats and they can't shift it once it dries later. So this is the final treatment, this is the teak brightener going on and this works really really fast, you can virtually watch it reacting as you put it on. This gets applied using a soft brush rather than the hard brush we were using earlier. That then gets scrubbed evenly across and it's quite important to make sure you get an even coating otherwise you'll get slightly different shades of colour in your teak deck. Once you've done that it's just a matter of hosing it off and again making sure you use plenty of water and making sure you get rid of everything once it's done. So the last thing to do is to give the whole area around the teak that you've cleaned a thorough wash down. What you don't want is any chemicals that you've used left on any GRP surfaces or other areas where it could cause problems later on. Once you've finished, all you need to do then is wait for it to dry, step back and admire your work. But obviously if your boat's on trucks like this one, don't step back too far. Mm -hmm.